be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm gonna be going over some simple tips that you can use to make dope sounding piano loops in Logic Pro 10. Really, you can put this to anything, but um, we're gonna try to keep it simple here. Now, first thing you're gonna want to do is find like a real solid, um, you know, grand piano sound. You could do that. Um, they have some stock sounds here that you can get. Um, just go to MIDI software instrument and then under instrument default patch and you can find like a pretty good you know grand piano here right here actually logic does have a solid grand piano this one right here so you want to find a sound that, that that's dope um if you can like maybe get like a third party one uh plug in that has piano sounds that might be that might be better Cause like what I find is sometimes even different cadences and different like small little neat you know things with you know a piano sound can like inspire you. So saturation and different things like that um, on a piano sound can inspire you or whatever. So I got this right here. So all right, cool. Let's go ahead and jump right into now like the tips and this is start right here. Now I'm not going to start from the beginning like okay if you don't know the, the notes of the piano we're not going to cover that. I'm not going to cover like half steps, whole steps and all that type of stuff. I'm going to assume that you know a little bit about the piano. And what I'm going to say is like you always want to start with like a key and scale that you are super familiar with and you want it primarily to be like a minor scale um, or key. Okay. Now everybody starts with C mostly. Um, that's a C minor chord. Um, this is a C minor scale. And essentially what you want to do is you really, really just really get down the notes that are in that scale. So if you get that down, you could pretty much just lay your fingers on top of those notes. You can see, all right, cool, those are the notes I'm playing. And you just have your hands on top of that, those notes. And then for the most part, you can kind of freestyle um, a basic pattern. So, like, one thing I like to do is I like to use, like, two notes. You know what I'm saying? So... You see what I'm saying? So I'm just, like, playing two notes from the notes in that scale. These are all notes in the C minor scale. You kind of can see how just using those three, two notes, any two notes really, it will kind of like match up for the most part. And um, you could use that kind of technique. Um, and then you can also kind of just basically do like a riff technique where you just freestyling just the notes that you have in a scale. Now obviously you don't want to just go all the way up and down like that, but you want to just kind of break it up. And then obviously, you know what I mean, once you know those notes, it's kind of easy to freestyle something. Um, if you're a complete, complete beginner, I'm not gonna give you a cheat code though, like one scale that you can use that is like fail proof is the A minor scale. And the reason why is all white notes. So you start at A and then just pretty much go up to the next A. It's like a perfect, um, you know, minor scale. So you can come in here and just literally play all white notes as long as you're starting with the A. So let's just go ahead and jump right into though, creating the, the dope loops here. I always like starting kind of like simple. So I'll play around with the melody and then like as soon as I catch something like catchy, I'll keep playing it over and over again and then go ahead and immediately record it. And so that's what I'm gonna tell you how to do. We're gonna jump back over here to C minor though. 
And it could be something as simple as that. And all I'm playing here is this some of the notes from that C minor chord uh, scale. And that's another thing you can do too. You can just come over here and play a chord. And then just stay focused on playing the notes in that chord just on different octaves. So we'll just lay that down and then we'll start building it. Come over here, quantize it. And then like usually when I, you know, do a counter melody basically, I like to keep that second melody pretty basic, kind of like more of a bass uh bass line low key with the piano and again if we know the key we're in I can just pretty much play any note as long as it sounds right and as you kind of see here I kept it simple just four notes um, and they're all in within that scale and I'm just really going up or down here. So we'll lay that down Okay, so cool we have that And then this is another thing to keep in mind as well. So let's look at the frequencies, right? So like, like when I'm making these melodies, a lot of times I might not even really go too much further than like three to five tracks. So, and when I was talking about the frequencies, you want to maybe have like a low ending, free, low sounding frequency, low end frequency uh, pattern or melody, and then like a mid range, and then like a high. So like for instance, this is the low, then we got the uh, mid. So now what we can do is now create a counter melody that's like a high, and let's just jump up a couple of octaves here. And of course, want to quantize, uh, quant quantize your your loop. And then, literally, something just like this is this is good enough to get something rolling. Like literally, this could turn into a dope beat. So I can take this and bounce it in place. And let's just like make sure it's like ready to be used as a sample. Let's check it out. So now we can take this and throw this in a quick sampler and I can pitch it up and down and different things like that. So let's just do that. Let's show you how it's a little tight right here.
pretty much saying that's gonna be the video. Just wanted to show y'all some su super simple tips, man. Like I know, you know, maybe you might not become Mozart, you know what I mean? But this will give you some like little 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 place to start here. Let me know in the comment section though if you like the video. Smash that like button as well. Go to my site, bemakingbasis.com. Check out the courses and grab those, grab those kits and everything like that. And y'all be blessed, man. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.